What's going on guys? Welcome back to Raider World. So in this video, we're gonna be installing the Hogworks mid-frame air deflectors on the Rogue Glide Special. For 09 to current Harley Davidson Touring models, these mid-frame air deflectors improve the rider's comfort by redirecting unwanted engine heat. This kit includes all the necessary mining hardware and installs in minutes. Hogworks also provides you with a one-year warranty against paint chipping, bubbling, or cracking. So for most of us that live in those states that you can't split lanes and you can't keep that constant breeze going and you're stuck in traffic, sometimes that heat between your legs can get really unbearable. This product right here is going to help deflect some of that heat. I can't wait to get these installed, so let's get it unboxed and install on the bike. So here you have your left and your right mid-frame air deflectors. These are the color match billiard red, and once again, these are spot on. Here you have your mounting hardware and some instructions. So here's the back side of your air deflector. Here you have your Hogworks logo, and this deflector here is marked left, and the other one will be marked right. All right guys, so when you're mounting your air deflector, this is your top bolt here. This one's already threaded. I believe it's for the 17s and up, but if you don't have this threaded hole, you do have this hole here. All you'll do is you'll insert your speed clip through this hole back here, and then you'll insert your bolt there. So here on the bottom is where you're gonna insert your well nut. Here I'm just using a plastic prying tool to pop out the retaining clip for the spark plug wire. So there is a location on the back of the deflector where you can remount that spark plug wire. So here I have my right air deflector for that threaded hole. I'm gonna place that bolt through here. If you're using a speed clip, it's gonna be this up here. And for my well nut, it's gonna be this location here. And for those two mounting locations, you're gonna use the provided bolt and washer. For the well nut, I'm just adding one layer of tape for a more secure fit. Now you can add Loctite if you want to, but I'm not going to for this install. Here I'm just using a small ratchet with a 716 socket. Now when you're tightening these down, you just want to tighten them down nice and snug. You don't want to over tighten and possibly crack the plastic. And for that top bolt, I'm just using a 716 stubby wrench. And for this install, is the exact same thing on the left side. 